Hi everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you guys my favorite mists and toners and essences. I know that's that's kind of hard saying it, plural. Actually these, these products right here, they are pretty much my favorite part of my skincare routine. It just feels so good on my skin whenever I put it on. It it just makes it feel luxurious to me, at least to me. That's how I feel. And it really does help my skin. It, it hydrates my skin and it helps my serums and my moisturizers kind of sink in my skin better. And I just wanted to show you guys what my favorites are. And actually, I'd like to hear from you guys what you think, what you use that you like. i like to know more. I like to try new things. And if you have, you know, an essence, a toner, that you, you, that you like, I'd like to know about it. Let me know, leave a comment down below. All right, well, let's get to it. Let me start out with my favorite mists. I have three of them here. And this one here, I've had this in my empties, the Mario Badescu, the facial spray with alloy, herbs and spray water, and rose water. <laughs> this bottle is four ounces and it's $7. And Whenever I hop out of the shower or whenever after I wash my face, this is the first thing that I spray on my face. I mean, mm, that smells so good too. It hydrates my skin and it smells so good. I love the rose smell. And for the price, you can't beat this. I can use this also to set my makeup and also for my eyeshadow, I could uh, spray my flat shader brush and just with a color on it, packed on it, and then just put it on my lid, and that just kind of helps brighten up my lid color. So yes, I like, this is my favorite mist. Mm -mm -mm. And another mist that I've been using, this one, this one was in my empties last month, and this one is the Maria Novella in Friancy. I believe that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm butch butchering it there. The Aqua de Rose, the rose water. My husband and I, we went to Italy early early this year and, um, you know, I like to find products that are from that country, you know, something that you can't find here. And this is my last bottle. I'm, I'm halfway done. <laughs> and this is another rose water that I love to use after I get out of the shower or wash my face. This one, the mist is kind of strong, so I wouldn't set this, I wouldn't set my makeup with this one. It just makes my skin feel really nice and it just... It just relaxes me. The rose water, I don't, I don't know. And my husband uses this one too. He loves this one. And this one, I can't find this here in the States. And if I do, it's probably will be on eBay or Amazon. And so I don't think I want to buy it off of Amazon or eBay. So I guess I need to tell my husband that we need to go back to Italy to buy some more. <laughs> but yes, this is another one of my favorite mists. And my other mist that I like to use is by Dermalogica, and it is the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I like this one too. This one you get 5.1 ounce and it costs $43. Usually I'll get this during Derm Store or Lovely Skin because they'll have sales. So I'll get it, you know, they'll have their 20% off, 30% off sales. So that's when I'll usually get this one. And this one, I, I really like this one. I won't use this to set my makeup because the mist is kind of, it is kind of heavy, I guess you could say. But this one, whenever I spray it on my face, it just brightens up my face. And it does say that it has a stable form of vitamin C, so that's really good. That, that will help brighten up your skin. This has peptides and antioxidants. I mean, antioxidants are really good for the skin and it just hydrates and it just calms my skin whenever there's some irritation on there. But yes, I really like this one. Now let me show you my favorite toners and essences. And there is a difference between them. Toners could or does help restore your pH balance, especially after you cleanse your face, because cleansers could kind of strip away and toners could, when you put it on, it will help restore it. And it'll also help, you know, remove some of the makeup that you miss during cleansers, especially for me. It's always right here. I always miss cleaning right here. <laughs> I'm trying to do better. You may need to use toners and you may not need to use toners. It's all, you know, depending on your skin tone or your skin type. And I like using these, these toners right here. And this one here, 
This is by Indy Lee, and this is the Co Q10 Toner. This one, you can put it on a cotton ball and put it all over your face, or just put it in your hand how I use it, and just kind of, you know, dab it on your face, and the smell of this smells wonderful. This one here, it has antioxidants, and it has the CoQ10 enzyme in there, which is very good for the skin. And this will balance your pH levels, you know, after you cleanse your skin, and this will calm and tone the skin, and it will hydrate and plump. That's, that's what it says it does, and that's what I see that it does on me. And I really like this one. This one is four ounces, and it's $32. And again, I'll usually wait till there's a sale, and then I will buy this. But this one is an excellent toner, especially after cleansing your face. And, you know, nowadays some cleansers are gentle where it doesn't strip away the moisture in your face. But this one, this one's a nice one. This one is good for all skin types, I believe. And the smell, mm, mm, mm. this, it just smells so good. Whenever I put it on my face, on my hands, and then put it on my face, and just inhale, mm, this smells so good. And I really like this one. Now another one that I really like... A toner. This is by Sunday Riley and it is the Martian Mattifying Melton Water Gel Toner. This one is great for oily skin and because I do break out at my age, which is wrong, I think it shouldn't happen when we reach a certain age, but yes, I do break out and I do and I am oily. I have combo skin, especially right here. This one's kind of neat. When you when you pump it in your hands, it's like a gel, but when you rub them together and put it on your face, it turns into a watery liquid. And then it, it helps mattify and kind of get rid of the oil. There is bentonite clay in here that will mattify excess oil on your skin and will also help reduce pore size. This one has marshmallow and green tea extract and it will calm the skin and also tone and tighten. And I really like this one. And I'm almost out of this one, and I already got another one. Yes, I like this one. This one here, it is 4.4 ounce, and it is $55. Now, the next toner I really like, this is a Korean skincare, and it's by Huxley, and it is their toner extract. This one's very liquidy. I mean, it's like water, but it's not. <laughs> this one here, it has organic Sierra prickly pear cactus seed extract. And this provides hydration and antioxidants, and it also balances the pH level on your skin. And it will also help prep the skin for your moisture, for your serums and moisturizers. And this one, this one has a really nice jasmine scent to it. And it's, it's very liquidy. You know, it's not gel or anything like that, as you can see. But I really like this one. And this one is 4 ounces, and it's $35. All right, those are my toners. Now for my essences. Now sometimes I like to use like a cocktail, like I'll mix and match. I'll use my mist first and then I'll use the toner and then my essences. And sometimes on some of my essences, I'll put it on like two or three times. I know that seems ex excessive, but I think on me, it really does help my skin, especially in the cold winter months. It helps hydrates it and it's just a luxurious feeling. I really like it. I mean, now let me show you my very favorite essence. This one is by May Coop and it is their raw sauce. Mm. This one I found out by uh, from Tammy from Uppies Beads 59 and I'll link her channel down below. She loves this and I thought I'd give it a try and now I love it. This is by far my favorite essence. This is made with maple sap with maple sap and it has a nice slip to it and it just smells wonderful. This one, this one, this one, this one. This one has vitamins and minerals and amino acids and it has, and it's filtered. The maple sap is filtered and it just it just this is mm, I mean I'm lost for words. And Sephora used to carry this, and now they don't carry it anymore. And I wanted to get it during the Sephora VIB sale, but they didn't have it anymore. But there's another website that carries this. It's Peach and Lily, and I'll also link down their website down below. And this one here, you get five ounces in this one, and it's $43. And they also have a little travel size that I, that I have also. But this one, 
this one whenever I use my mist and my Indie Lee or any of these toners and then this I'll put I'll put this one on like twice I'll put it on my hand and then put it on my face and then do it again and it just it just makes my skin and it just makes me calm it makes my skin calm and makes me calm <laughs> But yeah, this one is my favorite one. My second favorite, yeah, I'm going here. It's by La Mer. Yes, it's the treatment toner. You know, anything with La Mer has the in front of it. And this one is a little bit on the pricier side. You get five ounces here for $145. I know, I know. But it does have their Miracle Broth that La Mer is known for. And this one, this one also has a nice slip to it. It has a nice smell. And when I do put it on my face, my face just looks hydrated. It looks plump. It looks, and you know, I am in no way affiliated with these. I'm just giving you my experiences with these products. And yes. And again, I'll put a cocktail of these together and just pile it on my face. Now I have been seeing this on, on YouTube and I'll try to find it, but it's their seven step skincare program that they use essence. They'll put it on their face seven times. They'll pick an essence or they'll pick a cocktail of different essence and they'll just pack it on their face. And especially during the winter months when it's drying. Of course here I'm in North Texas and it's right now 70 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. It does get cold and my face does dry up and this really helps. Any of these will really help, but this and the Meku are my favorite. <laughs> All right, my next favorite. Well, actually the next three are really just in order. I'll use these all the time and I'll use it in the morning and I'll use it at night after, you know, I wash my face in the morning and wash my face at night. This is by Belif and it is their True Tincture Essence Chamomile. And this one, the smell of this one is divine. This one smells so good. This one soothes and calms the skin. And sometimes I'll put this one first, then my makeup sauce, or vice versa, depending on what other I'd like to try. But I really like this one. This one has a great slip to it also on, on, on the skin and it just, feels wonderful. This one here you get 2.53 ounce fluid ounce and it's $46. All right my next one here this is by Biotherm and it is their Life Plankton Essence. This one's another nice one I like and also I heard about this from Tammy from Uppies Beads 59. She has a great channel if you have a chance check her out. This one here it it's again on the pricier side. You get 4.23 and it's $65. And this one's kind of hard to find here in the States also. But I did find it. There is a website. I believe they have their own website. And also they have sales. So that's a good time to buy it. I did buy this one. I believe it was 25 or 30% off. And this one has a really nice slip to it. This one, it's owned by L'Oreal. So they have their patent plankton extract formula in here. And... I think it does wonders on my skin and I'll use this too with other essences also and all of these will help prep the skin for you know for your serums and moisturizers and pretty much all of these absorbs right on the skin it doesn't sit on the face at all they just they are really absorbing into the skin and this one also this one soothes and hydrates and I really like this one all right now the next one here this one's kind of neat. I saw this at Sephora, actually on their website. I don't think I saw it in the store. And this is by Primary Raw. The Do You Soy Milk Ferment Essence. It is really neat. As you can see, you can see the soy milk up here and then the liquid. And what you do is you shake it and it becomes, you know, the all milky color. And this one also has a nice slip and it just feels good on the skin. This is, uh, it has a concentrated blend of fermented soybean extract to brighten the skin and hydrating. And it also uses rice brand water as a base to revitalize and hydrate the skin. 
I really like this one. I just recently found this. I believe I bought it during the Sephora VIB sale. It's one of those that I added on. <laughs> it's like, okay, let me try it. And I really like this. I really like this. It costs $38 and you get 4.4 ounce in this bottle. And it's a really nice glass bottle and it just looks so pretty. I love this milky texture to it. And I just like how you have to shake it. <laughs> All right, these are my favorite mist, toners, and essences. And, you know, this is just my opinion. These are just my favorites and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I just wanted to show you my favorite routine, my favorite part of my skincare routine. You know, I'll spray my face with the mist, I'll put a toner on, and then I'll put a couple essences on, a little cocktail mix, and then I'm ready, my skin is ready for my serums and oils and moisturizers, and also uh, sunscreen and makeup. So far, all of these work great underneath makeup, especially on my skin. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.